Uh, sorry about that. My husband came home. So yeah, let's get back what we're doing. We walk in here. See what's in here. Huh. Okay. There's a camera. See what's going on in here over here. Huh. Okay. Nothing interested. Let's just get out of here. I think Norman is to take up this, so let's go to the bathroom real quick. And the lady get out of my fucking way. Occupied, I'm guessing. Gotta take this. Everybody's got to. I didn't hear a flush. Okay. Anyway, we gotta wash our hands. Okay. So we'll go ahead and uh, talk to um, the woman, Clarence or Cleary, or I think that's her name. Watch. Oh, it's the present we offer to our new lieutenants. We bought the same model each year for the past 20 years for each promotion. It optimizes everybody's time and it's the kind of thing that always goes down well. You can contribute to our fund if you like, but it's still a few dollars short. Um, sure. Congratulate Larry on my behalf. I'll be sure to do that, sir. Captain Perry said you could show me to my office? Yes, of course. Follow me. What a fucked this? up office, I swear. This is my office? That's where I was told to take you. If you need anything, you know where to find me. <laughs> okay, time to work. Let's see what you got to say. Wow. More like a big color. Well, I wanted a quiet place to work, and it certainly looks like I got it. Uh-huh. No time to lose. Gotta get down to work. First, analyze the case files. Let's clean up first. This office is really disgusting. Whee! There we go. And we'll sit. Step one, change the office. And for some reason it's not letting me. Damn controller. Okay. Now you got choices of these, and I will show you each one of them. I just like this one, typical it's really nice and the views is breathtaking. I really love it. Like you're more like you're on the top of the world. And show you this one. Now this is interesting. You're more like you're underwater but you're really not. But I saw a shark in the background. That's pretty cool though. And here's another one. 
Now this is really nice, actually. And I think there's another one right here. Okay, yeah, last one. Now this one you're more on Mars. This is really cool looking. But I prefer this. Oh, oops, sorry guys. Wrong button. Okay. And we'll start with the clues. And we'll start with this one. And he's not saying anything about the tire tracks, I'm guessing. Okay, let me see. Nothing on the map, okay. Store in town. Hmm. Okay. And He didn't really say anything about this much. Okay. Oh, you already did, never mind. Usually he'll say something about it. I guess I missed something. I don't know. We'll start on the files now. Eight victims in the last three years. All boys, aged between nine and thirteen. No signs of violence. The victims disappear from public places in broad daylight. No one notices anything. The bodies are found three to five days later. Drowned in rainwater. There's always a railroad line adjacent to where the bodies are found. And all the victims disappeared in the fall. We'll see. Hmm, interesting. Whoa, okay. Always the same ritual. An origami in the hand. An orchid on the chest. The victims have always been dead for less than six hours when they were found, which means they remained alive for several days before being drowned. Over 3,500 people questioned, over 100 suspects interrogated, not a single lead to go on. Yeah, most likely this killer's been killing these kids for the last two years and no one has ever caught him yet so far. The killer is white, aged between 30 and 45. He is intelligent, calm, and determined. An organized type. He has a car. He's probably employed, but his work allows him free time. And let's see. Nothing, okay. And we go ahead and do this. Okay, I didn't mean like that. There we go. Uh 
Uh oh, stop, that's not right. No, I know what's wrong with you, man. What's wrong? Oh god, you don't look so good. Jesus. Here we go again. I gotta go wash my face. I need to take some. I'm gonna faint if I resist. Oh, it's all right. I know I can make it. I know. I know I can make it. Exit. He's more than like a drug addict, I'm presuming. Is everything all right, sir? in this game really much depends on what you want to do I'm trying to make anything um, not the drop the attic so if you guys know what it is hey that's the guy that I with earlier guess he's gone free I'm guessing hey he's Ethan so he finally comes to the police station I'm guessing Now this part is going to be a little tricky, so be really ready. This is Lieutenant Blake, Mr. Marsh. Could you please tell him what happened? It, it was this afternoon. I went to the park with my son, Sean. We played together for a while. And then he wanted to go on the carousel, so I put him on one of the wooden horses. And when I turned back, Sean had disappeared. Exactly what time did you arrive at the park? Try to remember exactly, Mr. Mars. Every detail can be important. It must have been about... 4.15. Yeah, that's it, 4.15. I remember exactly because I looked at the clock in the park when we arrived. What was your son wearing when he disappeared? He was wearing a coat. X. A beige coat. Beige coat. And a pair of pants. Green. Green pants. How could Sean have disappeared without you even noticing? Weren't you right by the carousel? Uh, there you go. I, I did. I, I didn't leave. I watched the carousel. How could Sean possibly have vanished if you were right there watching the carousel? I don't know. I, I don't understand. You say you took your son to the park after school. But you didn't report him missing until 8.15. Why did it take you so long to contact the police? I searched the whole neighborhood for him. I, I thought he couldn't have gone far. Did Sean have any particular difficulties, Mr. Mars? Anything that might have caused him to run away? 